going to demonstrate to you what you need to do in order to cross peas. So the three pieces of equipment you need. You need a sharp pair of tweezers, a small bottle of ethanol in which to sterilize the tweezers in between going between one plant and another, and some labels. So the first thing you need to do is to select a flower at the right stage. So what we're looking for is a flower at the bud stage before it's actually opened. By the time the flowers are fully opened like this, these, these two, the flower is already pollinated and that's no use. So in here we have earlier, more immature buds. This one is at the bud stage and should be a good candidate for crossing. So what you do is go in with the tweezers and carefully remove the petals. Starting with the outer petals and then going in and removing the keel. This clearly exposes the anthers and the style. At the heart of the flower, carefully take off the anthers. Remove them all. There's the style ready to receive the pollen. So that style is all ready to receive pollen. We don't have to wait at all. So I'm going to come in with a flower from another line here, a coloured flower line, which is more developed. It will still have viable pollen in it, and I'm going to just manually hold back the petals, pull back the keel, and that will reveal the stigma with the pollen on the end. We can use this as a paintbrush to apply the pollen from this flower onto the recipient style. It's nice and visible, you can see the yellow pollen. So that is now ready to be labelled up. So I'm going to go through the process again. So first of all you select your female recipient flower and you're looking for a flower that's at the bud stage. Here's a good one here. So you hold the flower in its correct position and you strip off the petals going from the base of the flower, going either side of the keel pulling the outer petals off first and there's the keel with all the anthers and the style inside you just go in at the base of the keel it's a thin you go in at the base you're likely just to to go in without taking any of the other structures out. Taking a few of the anthers, there you are, you see the remaining anthers and the stigmatic surface in the flower still there, so take off the remaining anthers. There you are. There's the st stigmatic surface ready to receive pollen. So here's um, a flower that is just about to open. So this flower is, uh, the anthers will have dehissed inside. So it's no use to use as a female flower. If you go in, pull back the outer standard and wings, hold those in one hand, then firmly pull the keel from the base, pull it back to expose the style which is full of pollen, act as a paintbrush. And use that to apply the pollen, large amount of pollen there. One flower, 
because the male flower will be enough to do several pollinations if you get it at this stage. So the flower there is ready for tagging. I'm using these jewelers tags. The bud is quite delicate, so you want to be able to sort of hold it and lasso it carefully and draw the string around the base of that flower. Clearly only one flower, so that flower has been crossed, no need to bag it. It's not going to be visited, you're not going to get pollen, pollen on it now. The information of the cross is put onto the label and that's it. Crossed pea flower.